Hello, internet. So yeah, this is a PS3 version. I've not been playing it as much as 360, but I still have made like decent progress. So, because like as far as characters go, I have all except for the uh, Batarian Sentinel from Resurgence DLC. I haven't got any of the new Rebellion because I haven't been playing lately. So, what I'm gonna do now is just buy a bunch of uh, like 10 premium Spectre packs. Some would say the wrong way because I'm going to use like actual money and not like credits from the game. So it'll be a while before I. <laughs> but like, hopefully, next time I do this on PS3, it'll be like all credits. And like, same thing with 360, I'm just going to try to like stop spending actual money in the game. But it's really. <laughs> it's like the only game I'm playing right now. So it's like kind of like I don't really care. I'm like, whatever. I'm not playing anything else. So it's not like the money's going to go anywhere. So yeah. All right. Pack number one. Let's do this. See if it's anything awesome. If not, whatever. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm hoping that like over time we get like more objectives because that's I really like how they added that new objective where you have to get the uh, resource and bring it to the circle of protection. That's really a nice new dynamic. You need teamwork, so it's like hope it like hopefully would like encourage more people to use like headsets and stuff. That'd be that'd be nice. Like I guess I don't I don't mind people not using them because it's like the and everything I like about Mass Effect Three is like I can just chill out and play co-op and not have to worry about people being jerks like on uh, other games. All right, cover missile launchers, uh, gel adept. Oh, berserker package, nice. Yeah, I got um quite a few more of these after I put up the other video on three sixty. So I uh, if I put up another video, I'll show it off. But uh, yeah. This is the Berserker one with like shotgun and melee damage, so it's probably good for Krogan. Um, Hornet 5, sorry, Adept, yes. So yeah, hopefully I can get some of the new DLC classes since I don't have any on PS3 anyway. Because I have, let's see, yeah, I don't have any of the Vorture yet, so that'd be nice if I got some of those so I could try those out, even though I haven't played with them still, so whatever. Okay, second pack, what do we get? Cover missile launchers, pistol, amp. Oh, thermal clip capacity. I think that might be the last one I need. Uh, get the pulse rifle. Oh yes, fortress sentinel. See, on PS3, I've like actually on my equipment, I have like five of. Uh, yeah, everything except for the thermal clip. I think I got five of the cover missile launcher actually on 360. I'm not sure because I I got some more packs, but I don't remember if I did or not. I, I think I have four or five. I'm not sure, but. So yeah, I'm good. I'm good on PS3 as far as like that goes. So I have the Vorture Sentinel, so that's one of the new classes. I'll try that out later. Put up a video later. I, yeah, I need to get around to getting all those videos up that I said I'd do. So that's like the next thing on my list since I finally got the uh, Arkham City playthrough up. And also, by the time this is uploaded, I would have had the videos of the Operation Shield Wall uh, victory and commendation pack. So yay for that too. All right, more cover missile. Uh, another cover missile launcher. Faced in armor piercing. Rear carbine. I have like three of those on uh, the 360. Shi harpoon gun. Hmm. There's something else I wanted to talk about. Oh yeah, I think the other thing since like shield wall you had to re uh, promote characters. I had like level one eight up soldier and a. Uh, Vanguard, because those are the ones I promoted. The other three I left at like high level, so already my eight ups at nine, so I got that Asari, and then the Sentinels back at nineteen. So yeah, that's that's the other thing I like about the uh, packs is like, when you get them in the store, you get your levels back up way faster. So that's nice. Cause I like to always be at level twenty, and then only promote if there's like a weekend event where you need to promote. So or if like one of my friends is like close to me on the N seven rank, and like I just want to get ahead of him and like stay ahead I'll just do that if there's like a event I'll just like promote them all just like to, to keep the distance between between me and them I don't know there's just something about that leaderboard when like someone is above me I'm like no I have to keep playing more and more but yeah all right phalanx nine sorry flux extended barrel three yep the uh curse sniper rifle Another Rieger Carbine. I haven't used any of the new weapons yet, so or new classes from the Rebellion, so I haven't. I can't really comment on them. So I'll, I'll need to put up a video of those too. 
No, yeah, I guess I'll make a note of that and then do that. Yeah, I think they actually um, patched the uh, store so that if you buy uh, packs with actual money, you won't have like an error and like not get them because that was happening before the 1.0, I think it's like 1.04 or 1.03 patch that just came out. So that's cool. So now I can just buy packs and not have to worry about that. Terrain Sentinel. I like the Terrain Sentinel. That like overload and tech armor, really good combo. Good pulse rifle, corn engineer. Is this the male? I think. No, that's a female. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a female. Not the male. Yeah, alright. Yeah, I think I'll put up a. Yeah, when I do the calibrations videos, I'm gonna go through each class and just like. Like an overview of their, cl of their powers, and then like show them in action, and then some like basic strategies. And then, uh, like the appearance, the appearance screen of, uh, like how to, I don't know, like, it depends on like how many of the appearances I've unlocked. If I've locked, unlocked everything, I'll like maybe do like a thing of like how to get them like the, uh, hero characters from the storyline. Cause that's, that's, that's always fun when like I'm playing online and I see people that have like the same like color set up as like a, like Garrus or Tally. That's pretty cool. Or like people that run around with like the uh, the black armor with like the red stripe for their humans, they're like kind of like the shepherd armor default anyway, since you can customize it. Uh oh, this one's taking quite a bit of time. It better not time out. Oh no! <laughs> oh, I lost my connection. That's weird. That screen, wow, that screen right there was weird too. It had like a bunch of stuff that was free. <laughs> uh, great. See, that's the other thing about PS3 version is like, I have, I have really bad like experiences when I'm playing online on PS3, like compared to 360. Like, P 360 had like no issues at all. Like, except for like a couple of days ago, I was playing and like, I got a, your disc has like a scratch on it or whatever error message and I got kicked from the game. But like besides that, I haven't had any issues at all. Whereas PS3, I get dropped quite a bit and just have weird stuff happening, <laughs> like randomly. So it's not it's not been as stable. Which is like I said in that one video I put up of uh of I think it was like the this the shield wall thing. Like it's just I'm just having issues on the um having issues on that on this version of the game when I play online. Like I don't know what it is. I think it might be my PS3, but I'm not 100% sure. Cause like the fan is always kicking up and stuff, and it's the it's like the 60 gigabyte backwards compatibility launch unit. So I'm not sure if I like need to buy a new one. Cause I'm always afraid it's gonna crap out. That's like my one major fear. But yeah, whatever. <laughs> it's like I don't really want to buy another one because I'd be wasting money. So yeah, just to like transfer the saves from the hard drive to the other one or the new one. Like, I like how they can do that and, like, put in, like, a terabyte hard drive and, like, have a ton of space, but whatever. Alright, Turian Soldier, Quarian Engineer. Oh, wow, this is, like, both packs. The one I didn't get and the one I just bought, so... Okay, the first pack is the Thermal Clips Soldier, Pistol Piercing Mod, uh, Quarian Engineer, M98 Widow 7. Yeah, I don't snipe a lot, but this is an awesome gun. Like, that, that video I put up with the Solarian, like, I was seeing in the other video, like, I don't usually snipe, but in that video I did, and I was doing pretty good, so... It's like, I can if I, like, want to, but that's just not, like, how I usually play. I'm more of an assault rifle, uh, player. Alright, then we have the cover missile launchers, SMG rail amp, shotgun shredder mod, Kashyyyk harpoon gun, and geth plasma shotgun. I haven't used this gun, but everybody says it's, like, really awesome, so I need to try it out. I think that's really interesting how they, like... I guess they fixed it to where it's like if you get a pack or you buy a pack and it doesn't show up, it'll come in your second pack that you buy. So I wonder if it like keeps stacking if you keep getting errors, but uh, hopefully it doesn't happen. So we'll see. I'm also interested like if we get more info about like the new single player DLC after the extended cuts out because I'm kind of 
I kind of want that like whole issue and like drama to be over of like the ending and the fallout of that. Just I just want to move on and get more single player content because that's <sighs> yeah. I'm not gonna go there, but I want to play more of the uh, Shepherd and Squad Mates adventure. Metagel Stabilization mod. Oh, I haven't got one of these yet. Mental Focuser. Power damage plus four. So that's another of the uh, equipment or gear equipment bonus things. Wow, I haven't got any of the new classes besides that uh, that Vorcha. So that's kind of a letdown. Hopefully, like, okay, there's another car rear carbine. So I got some of the new guns. The uh, Vorcha Sentinel, but. Still nothing super awesome like the uh, other classes. Oh, this is the last pack then. Do 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 do. Because after this, I'm like one cent in my in my thing. I think in my wallet. Can't at least get like another class, that'd be cruel. Minigel, armor piercing grounds. Oh wow, Thermal Clips, like, I think that might be maxed out then. Wow, this is funny, like, I got, on my 360 I have like the two x Cerberus, and like on PS3 I have the two Fortress, so. That's funny, that's like flipped around. But yeah, it doesn't, like, I would say don't spend money on this, since you can just use credits, but for me, I have like more money than time, so it's like, a lot of the time, I'd like to be playing Mass Effect, but I can't, so it's like, I'll just, like, I'll find myself being like, oh, I would have been playing, but I was doing something else, so, it doesn't, whatever, I'm not gonna try to <laughs> advocate it or whatever, but that's just how I roll. So yeah, now my, let's my classes, okay, my engineer's level 20, so that's gonna be my grinding class on both, since that's like my favorite class. Um equipment so yeah five on everything now um i have max metagel it looks like and my thermal clips are back up and i have a decent amount of uh missile launchers and op survival packs i'll probably put on the uh yeah mental focus here because unless i'm playing krogan for that extra damage for shotgun and melee but the i don't know how like high these ones go like if it's to level five or ten because that'd be a good boost on i'm interested to see like what the boost is on those after it gets like certain level or leveled up, but yeah, I think that's the end of this video because I'm just looking through all like the new stuff I just got. So, yeah, yeah, because this is like a comparison of like the stuff I have on 360. Because yeah, Vindicator I use on 360, but this one I have like Matic level nine, so there's no real. Mm, the damage, yeah, the damage difference is like worth it to not. Since it's level nine, I'll just wait until I get the. Vindicator backup, but Matic is like my backup gun, so. Rieger Carbine. Oh, yeah, and I got the N7 Crusader in the latest commendation pack, so. I haven't tried it out yet, though. Like, the Victory, I was using that. That I, I really like that gun. Um, pretty good. Like, I used I use that with the Slurring in that one video, so yeah, I like that. Hurricane's pretty awesome. I haven't. I've, I've been playing a ton of silver, and, like, it, it really is really good, so. I want to put up a video of uh, that in action because it's pretty awesome. Or not, whatever. But yeah, that's it for uh, this video of me buying packs from the store. And uh, thanks for watching. Have fun, good game. And Mass Effect's awesome. Thanks for watching. Alright, so apparently I can't read and I checked the uh, PlayStation Store to look at my amount left in my wallet and I have enough for one more thing or uh, one more premium Spectre pack. Okay, so yeah, I was gonna say like I think it's funny how like how like every time you're not playing the multiplayer, how like your galaxy war percentage will go down. So it's like you like if you're if you're not playing, it'll like you'll always be like, oh no, I need to play more to get my percentage back up. But then like I think the weird thing is like it doesn't really feel like that matters at all in the single player. So it's like I don't I don't even like not to not to spoil anything but there's only like two circumstances i think where like that even matters and it's like the very end of the game so it's like it's kind of a yeah 
it wasn't. I would. I would say it's not as well implemented as uh, it probably could have been. So that's disappointing. But whatever. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'll have ten cents after this. All right. <laughs> I was not paying attention when I was uh, making the last video. Why well, was I just didn't look clearly? I was like, oh, I have three something left. So that's it. All right. Last pack. What do we get? <laughs> last pack this time. Hmm. Yeah, now I'm like wondering. It seems like all the new, or like, or like all the um, all like the units like have been added that they could add. So I'm wondering like, what will they add next? Because Vorter are in here, Batarians are in here. Unless it's like the Hanar and Elcor or Volus, that'd be weird. And just yeah. <laughs> I guess I'm not getting to that this video, but that'd be even weird. Okay, get the plasma SMG and arc pistol. That's kind of a downer for the last pack, but whatever. All right, that's that's okay. That's it this time, and I'm just gonna say thanks for watching and uh, have fun, good game.